The repeat command allows you to leverage constraints from an already placed component to put more instances of that component into your assembly. For example, let me assemble a bolt and I'm going to pick a cylindrical surface and a cylindrical surface and let's use a flat surface and a flat surface. Let's change that distance constraint to coincident and I'm happy with the placement so I can hit the middle mouse button in order to locate it in the model. Now that I have the component placed, I can click on it and use either the repeat command from the ribbon or right click and hold and choose repeat. And this is going to open up a dialog box that's going to list the different constraints. And I can select the ones that I want to reuse and then click the add button and pick a new cylindrical surface and a flat surface new cylindrical surface and a flat surface for however many times I want to place that component in the assembly. And where you get a real advantage out of repeat is if you only want to change one of the constraints. For example, I've got this bolt here and I'm going to right click and choose repeat. And let's say I want to get more instances of that component on that same surface. I only need to select the first constraint for the cylindrical surfaces, then click add, and then it's a bunch of left mouse clicks in order to get more instances of the component into the assembly. Then I click OK, and there I have more instances. Another way that you can use the repeat command is by using, using the placement folder in the model tree. I'm going to expand the placement folder. Here we see the different constraints and I will select both of them using the control key. Then if I hold down the right mouse button in the pop-up menu, we have a repeat command. And then at this point, it's going to open up a dashboard for component placement. And we can use this temporary interface that was created. And we can pick a cylindrical surface and a flat surface. There it's placed in the model and pick another Oh, hold down the right mouse button and choose new location to get another instance and cylindrical surface, flat surface. And there we have it placed. When I'm happy, hit the check mark. And in that manner, we have a lot of instances of this bolt placed a lot quicker than using manual placement. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.